Yeah, hi guys. Let me show you today the statistics and uh, probability made easy app. Uh, remember, even though it's shown to you on the computer, it only runs on handheld TI Inspires. And this app is uh, really massive uh, because it holds a lot of statistics features uh, for you and also probability. So here you can see under combinatorics you find all the permutation combination formulas, even Pascal tri triangle binomial coefficients. Uh, the next uh, sec section you find all probability rules and uh, formulas and you can apply them as well. In the statistics section we you can find all the statistical data, average, mean, mode, median, standard deviation, there's the z-score solver as well. Uh, next uh, all the regressions from linear regression step by step to quadratic, to power exponential, and uh, logistic regressions. Uh, all your needed distributions are in here, binomial, normal of course, exponential, geometric, Poisson, t-distribution, chi-squared, and um, f-distribution confidence intervals next, all the type of confidence that you may ever need for means, for two means, proportions, you can even find sample size given a margin of error. All the statistical tests are here, z-test, t-test, chi-square test, f-test, and last but not least Markov chains and uh, stochastic uh, matrices. All right. Let's uh, look at some features of uh, the app. Um, NPR, everybody knows NPR. Five given two the number of uh, rearrangements. Five P two is found by doing five factorial divided uh, by five minus two factorial, which is computed here. You're going to get twenty. You change a number, you immediately get uh, the correct answer as simple as that. Uh, binomial coefficients. This is a binomial theorem expanded here for you and you can recognize 1, 3, 3, 1. Those uh, coefficients make up the Pascal triangle. Um, probability, expected value. Um, you can do, for example, you can do odds or probabilities, conditional probability. So you just have your formula here of conditional probability and uh, this app automatically solves for you whatever you need. If you are given up here, you're going to get uh, whatever is uh, left blank. Very simple to use. Statistics. Find average, mean, mode, just enter your list up there, say we enter this, 1, 2, 5, 5, 5, and then you find your mean, your median, obviously the mode is um, uh, One second. Mean. We don't have a mode right now. If I change it to five, you see you get five here. Then the standard deviation is computed for your first the variance, then the standard deviation. And uh, the range is given to you as well. Regression. Say you want to find a linear regression step by step, mx plus b. You enter your x coordinates and your y coordinates. Okay, and then we are using the handy dandy formula for the slope m and for the y intercept b. Step by step to arrive at your linear regression line 
correlation coefficient uh, given to you as well. Distributions. Well, let's look at uh, normal distribution. You enter the mean and the standard deviation, Z11, the standard normal distribution. And uh, here you enter values A and B. So if you want to know the cumulative uh, normal distribution, let's say between negative 3 and 1, or between negative 2 and 1, you immediately get your answer. Probability the we are below negative 2 is going to be this, above negative 2 is going to be that, and we also have a z-score down here computed for you. Um, next, confidence intervals. Say you're looking for a confidence interval for a mean with a noun standard deviation. So here's your mean, your standard deviation, and n is your sample size. And here we're using 95% uh, percent confidence interval. So say we're going to change our sample size to 16. Scroll up. Here's your setup for the confidence interval. Uh, using normal distribution, using the setup here, plugging in our value 5, 2, 16, and simplified, we're going to get this. Since it's a 95% confidence interval um, with 1.96, the z score um, plugged in, we're going to end up with this uh, confidence interval. Now notice if you say change the sample size, you increase the sample size, say to 25, you can all automatically see or quickly see how your confidence interval changes. In fact, it gets more narrow. Okay, lastly, test of significance. Let's do a z-test for a mean. Uh, our alternative hypothesis is uh, not equal. Say we're going to use a significance level of 5% and uh, here in this box we're going to enter our data that we need to perform the test. 5.5 um, for the mean um, and here n is 10. That's our sample size. Here you can, before you actually perform it, you can always read um, about the test. Now let's say we enter our information here in this box. Immediately the box changes here in the bottom and we uh, provide you with step-by-step -step solutions. First, you are computing the z-score uh, when performing a statistical test. In this case, we arrive at negative one it's a two-tailed test because our HA is not equal. So we're going to arrive at a p-value of 0 0.317, which is clearly more than 5%. So we actually fail to reject H0. Um, say our x-bar is much further away, let's say 3. Well, that's almost too much. That's too good to be true. Say 4. Then our p-value turns out to be almost 0, which is definitely less than 5%, and we actually get to reject H0. So this app and many more apps available at uh, tiinspireapps.com. Thanks for watching.